A long, long time ago it was. Before people began to dwell in the sky. A terrible war was waged between us humans and the wicked god. After the horrendous battle, our ancestors entombed the wicked god and left the polluted and barren earth to find the future in the sky. Change the intro. Eh? Someday you will know the voice what act. you are meant <coughs> to be. And I know there's no vo uh, English voice acting in the game. Wow, they collect geographic location when you play their games on Android and iOS. Dang. Oh, I think I'm supposed to hit B. <coughs> Take it. Oh, it does. Okay. It eventually does. But in the settings, um, in the actual settings here, you have to hit. Oh, no. Even though it says B, okay, um, it's fixed.
achievement for just getting start. ああ、そうだ。いきなりロックキャットに襲われて。相手がロックキャットで良かった。彼らは装飾だからね。しかし。普段は人を襲ったりしないんだがな。最近森の生き物たちが妙に落ち着かなくてね。なぜだかわからないが、みんなひどく消え当たっている。君も森には下手に近寄らない方がいい。ところで君の名は何というんだね。この辺りでは見
もしかすると軽い記憶障害が出るかもしれないとちょっと心配だったんだがさあよかったら起きて村の中を見て回ってみるといいまあ辺境の小さな農村だ特にこれといったものはないがねそれから君の秘書器はそこだ変わった方の秘書器だね帝国で一般に普及しているものとは違うようだがあ,あそいつはじいちゃんが作ってくれた特製なんだじいちゃん腕のいい機械屋だったからうんなるほど君のおじいさんがねところでそのおじいさんは死んだよ2年前にそうかそいつはありがとう先生助かったよああ例なら外にいるミーマイに行ってくれ森で倒れてる君を見つけてここまで抱えて帰ってきてくれたんだミーマイだね。よし、オッケーだ。それじゃ行こうぜ Well, you must be the traveler they found unconscious in the wood. You should ask me for advice if you want to have better luck in the future. What should we ask her about? Shadow. In general, Magnus can be divided into two types, Magnus during, used during battle and Magnus used while in the camp menu. A battle Magnus can be used an infinite number of times. On the other hand, a camp Magnus can only be used a single time, so you need to be more careful when using them. Adventuring tip. If you need to recover HP, it makes more sense to do so during battle than in camp. Use a battle Magnus instead of a camp Magnus to recover your HP without losing any Magnus. Of course, using Battle Magnus is a low risk here, but making good use of them is important. Defeating enemies won't earn you a single gold coin. Given the poor street value of most Magnus, trying to earn money by selling them isn't realistic either. The way you go if you want to get big bucks is to sell photographs. Photos can only be taken during battle and are a bit risky, but a well-timed, well-shot photo will fetch you a lot of gold. Photos aren't worth holding on for two for a long time. You should always check to see if you have, a, have any to sell when you visit magnet shops. And be careful not to be anxious to sell your photos. Be careful not to be too anxious to sell your photos. Unless you let the photos develop and let their colors come up fully, they won't fetch their full values. Taking a good photo that can sell at a high price requires both skill and determination. Photos of fast moving enemies are often out of focus. Photos taken when the light is too bright tend to be washed out. Combine light and darkness. Combine light and dark attacks and wait for the right shadow moment. With practice and some luck, you'll be taking photos that could grow in no time. Ugh. In the camp menu, there's an option called collection. All Magnus cards that come, you come across will automatically register to the collection. To register a Magnus in the collection, you don't actually need to obtain it. Once you have seen the Magnus in some form, it will automatically be added. For example, Magnus cards that you see in shops are registered to the collection, even if you don't actually buy them. The entire village is thankful that we have Dr. Larry Kush, if we had found you back in the old days. So you want to know more about Dr. Larry Kush, the man who saved your life? Well, I can't tell you much about him right now. Come back in a little while when I'm done with work. After you thank me, Nai, will you visit the village mayor's house? He seemed very concerned about you.
Do you see an anatomical drawing of a human body? <laughs> a bit queasy. Medical tools and confusing charts are stored here. The items you see before you are seldom found in these parts. They all seem well worn and from long use. Something is in the wooden box. Shish kebab. Surprised, Dr. Larikush can cure just about any injury or ailment in no time at all. You know what? Now that you're feeling better, why don't you go see the village mayor? It seems there's something he's itching to tell you. Let's see if they only say one thing. そうだったわ。ああ、そうだったわ。へえ、珍しいな。帝国の方じゃ普通に使われてるらしいけど。こんな変化じゃ、飛翔機を見かけることはまずないよ。しかし、なんか変わってるね。ああ、これは俺のじ
The harvest is going to be over soon. Come back later and I'll give you some mountain apples to try out. Oh, you're so impatient. Didn't I tell you to come back later? The harvest is almost over. Why don't you come back in a little while? Hey, wait. You must be the guy they found unconscious in the woods. How are you gonna make it as an adventurer if you keep fainting during your travels? Hey, are you trying to pick a fight or something? What are you trying to say there, huh? Whoa, calm down there. I just want to give you some advice so you'll feel better from now on. During your travels, have you ever thought, I wish I hadn't lost that battle, or I w if only I was stronger? If that's the case, then you might want to learn more about this blue flower beside me. They say this flower records the memory of those travelers who step into its embrace. I've also heard of travelers being transported to a mysterious church and returning stronger than before they entered. To tell you the truth, I haven't tried the flower myself, but still, I thought I would tell you about it since you're an adventurer and all. These mysterious flowers exist all throughout the world. It would be wise to make good use of them. I see. I'll check it out later. Oh, by the way, in addition to blue flowers, there are also red flowers. The red ones will let you save your journey's progress. If, you have, if you're ever unsure, take a look at the help in the system section of the camp menu. Welcome to the Sadal Sioux Frontier. You're in Sabawa, a remote village out in the sticks of the sticks. Our village doesn't have much to offer, but we're friendly folks here. Always ready with a smile for a weary traveler. What's the matter? Don't tell me you're bored of our village already. Hey, I can explain the secrets of this flower again if you want. What's with a long face? Are you tired of this place? <laughs> I'm not surprised. The young folks in the village say they feel the same way, but once you get old, you'll enjoy the slow moving clouds. Those clouds are slow moving. And notice the whispery song of the leaves. By the way, do you want to tell me about Agena? To do what to do. Not an adventure. Do you stand before me in search of greater power? Whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? I don't get it. Where am I anyway? Those who seek spiritual growth visit this church to pray. If you have enough experience through your travels, your prayers will be answered. This may be confusing at first. I will try to answer any questions you may have. What would you like to know? Simply winning battles is not enough to increase your various strengths and capabilities. You need to pray before the altar and reflect on your experiences. Only then will you truly learn, and your abilities will improve. This is the only way to realize and fulfill one's true potential. Pray within these hollowed halls. Remember that the power of realization can only be attained through prayer. Visit this church whenever possible to learn of your true powers and abilities. Any other questions? Yes. You will find artifacts in the world items of great power. Even in Magnus form, these items retain their magic and will help you prepare for even greater ordeals. If you desire to possess such strength, bring me the required Magnus, and its inexpressible gifts shall be entrusted to you. The power bestowed upon you from these special Magnus will be of different quality than that of a normal level up. Go forth and earn some experience so that you may improve upon your abilities.
Oops, no, there's some barrels there. Barrel. This will work. I'm so tired. When you get old, even pulling weeds feels like hard labor. Hmm? You're an unfamiliar face. Not from around here, are you? Well, I hope you enjoy your visit. Wait. I'm so tired. Pulling weeds is is my everyday chore. I may be old, but I'm not useless. Take a look behind you. Those prancers sure are something, right? The common horse is no match for its standout strength. The animals in the stable are an important part of the village workforce. That's why we <clears throat> raise them with such tender care. Gotta keep them happy, you know. Oh, you can't skip here, I see. This prancer is sensitive to hot weather. He's grown weak from the set out suit's heat. If he lived in a cooler climate, I'm sure he'd recover. What can I do? The milk and eggs produced here is sold east of this village in Perkad. With the money from sales, we buy goods in the city. That's our way of life here in Sibal, right? Sorry about the smell. Well, you're in the stable. You're gonna have to put up with it. Why, did you fart or something? Oh, hello there. It's a fine day today, isn't it? I hope it doesn't get too much hotter. If it gets too hot, these pals will become fatigued and lazy. If that happens, their meat will get fatty and unmarketable. We can't afford poor pow sales during this season. Come to think of it, you don't look familiar. There are so few faces to remember here, I can easily tell. I don't know where you're from, but have you been to Mintaka? My husband's working there. He says he's fed up with all the machina around him. What an ironic thing for a mechanic to say. If you go to Mintaka and happen to see my husband, Kasim, Kasim, please tell him that his wife misses him and wants him to come home. But what are the chances you'll meet him in Mintaka? The city is so huge and overpopulated. I prefer the rural, rural living myself. Wow, I have to go through all oh, that. Yeah. The pot is filled with freshly squeezed milk. It smells sweet and delicious. If you had some kind of container, we'd be able to carry this. Let's leave it for now. Animal droppings are in the bucket. This smells as bad as you might expect. See that girl there? She's probably daydreaming about Prakad even now as she milks that pow. She might be smitten by fair per card, but she's an amazing pow milker. It's kind of ironic, I think. What? The pot is filled with fresh and squeezed milk. It smells sweet and delicious. Oh, no. no. I want to talk to the lady again. Okay, so she's saying the same thing. I'm 
また夢みたいなこと言ってるのよこのこったら運よくそんな出会いがあったにしても山田氏の田舎娘なんかいいように騙されて散々遊ばれた上で飽きられたら恋と捨てられちゃうのがオチよいくら人に翼があるからってうわついたふわふわした夢なんか見てちゃダメしっかり大地に足を踏まえて一歩一歩歩ってくくらいで村の人間はちょうどいいのよ Milking the cows, same old job every day. What a life! I'm about to save up that long ass conversation.
世話になったな2枚ありがとう。いらっしゃい田舎だと言ってバカにしちゃいけないうちのマグナスは最高のやつばっかりさそもそもマグナスってのは物体から余分なものを取り除いたそのものの本質マグナエッセンスを取り出してカードに封じ込めたものだだからいざ使おうと思いマグナスを解放して元の形に戻してみたら買い物にならなくなってたってんじゃ、点でシャレにならないよね。なあ。やっぱりマグナスはバッチリ信頼のおける、まっとうな人間から買わなきゃダメってことよ。つまり、うちの店みたいなね。うちのはもうフレッシュムチムチ。息のいいのばかりだから、心配いらないよ。しかも、今ならスペシャルサービスで、特別優待価格だ。さあ入った入ったどれでもよりどりみどり気に入ったのを持ってってくれ
あなた旅の人近くの森にあるという古い遺跡を見に来たのあなたはえ俺俺は。もう行かなきゃ。じゃあね、僕、ミーマイ。しないぜあの森には呪われてるって言ってさどっかの兄ちゃんみたいに森の獣にやられてぶっ倒れたりしなければいいけどねチェ言ってくれるよスキダマシの森の遺跡か俺たちも後で行ってみるかいやこんにちはさするに
あんたが行き倒れて先生のとこに担ぎ込まれたっていう兄さんだね一人旅もいいがあんまり無茶するんじゃないよ故郷にあんたの帰りを首を長くして待ってる親兄弟がいるんだろあんたのことを大事に思ってくれてるような人たちにいらぬ心配かけるような真似だけはしちゃいけないよいや故郷にはもう誰もいない俺は一りぼっちなんだそうかいそいつは寂しいねしかしそれじゃなおさら無茶はいけないよ兄さんきっと世界のどこかにはあんたのことを待ってる人がいるからさ。俺のことを待ってる人ああそうさあんたのことを必要としてる誰かいずれあんたが必要とするようになる誰かそんな誰かが世界のどこかで今もあんたと同じように普通に暮らしてるお互いまだそうとは知らずに。世の中ってのはそうやって回っているんだ<笑>まあいずれわかるさところで兄さんこいつを持っていきなよ私の特製のお団子だ遠慮はいらないよああ,あありがとう何礼はいらないよ気をつけてお行き。